Today we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Wednesday, June 21, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link to our Patreon in the description and comment section below. Arizona Diamondbacks vs Milwaukee Brewers While many expected the Arizona Diamondbacks to take a big step forward in 2023, no one quite saw this coming, as they've seen amazing individual performances lead to a deep, talented team that are 15-7 in their past 22 games, as well as being 6-2 in their past 8 played against the National League Central. Despite a sweep at the hands of the Phillies, the D-backs have managed a 5-5 record in their past 10 overall games, and with their biggest ace on the mound, they'll be looking to pick up another crucial series win on Wednesday. On the mound, the D-backs are turning to breakout star Zach Gallen, the fifth-year starter who is coming off a career year in 2022, only to be just as good in 2023, starting 8-2 with a 2.96 ERA through the first 15 starts of the campaign. Over that time, Gallen has pitched 92 innings, striking out 100 hitters and surrendering just 5 home runs and 19 walks, and with all four of his pitches working each and every night, there's few starters in the game better right now. The Milwaukee Brewers, like many teams around baseball have been struggling with injury this year, but with such a deep rotation and a solid lineup, they've managed to stay alive in the NL Central race, while still posting an impressive 4-1 record in their past 5 games, as well as being 5-2 in their past 7 games played at home against teams with a winning record. In their past 10 games, the Brewers have a 4-6 record, but have bounced back nicely in their past 2 series after suffering 6 straight losses over the past 2 weeks, and now, they've got even more motivation to chase down the Red Hot Reds. On the mound, the Brewers will look to a veteran in Julio Teheran, who has started 5 games since joining Milwaukee as a free agent, and in that time, he's shown flashes of the all-star that he once was. In those starts, he has a 2-2 record while posting an impressive 1.78 ERA, and while he's not the strikeout pitcher he once was, he's adapted his game and is now a savvy veteran who will look to help the Brewers right the ship. The Arizona Diamondbacks have had a rough few years, but the 2023 team is showing signs of life. They have a young and talented core, and they have shown that they can beat anyone on any given night. In their last five games against the Milwaukee Brewers, the Diamondbacks have won four. With Zach Gallen on the mound, they have a good chance to win their fifth game in a row. Gallen is one of the hottest pitchers in baseball, and he will give the Diamondbacks a chance to win. This is a big game for the Diamondbacks. If they can win, it will show that they are a team to be reckoned with. They have the talent to be a playoff team, and they are starting to show that they have the heart as well. The first two games of this series have been high scoring, with a combined 22 runs scored. However, the two teams boast strong starting pitching, and the under has hit in 11 of the past 16 head-to-head -head meetings. Additionally, the under is 4-1 in the Diamondbacks' past 5 games on Wednesdays, and 11-5-1 in the Brewers' past 17 games against right-handed starters. Therefore, I expect a pitching duel in this game, and I recommend taking the under. St. Louis Cardinals vs Washington Nationals In their 8-6 series opening win on Monday night, the Cards had to fight back after giving up 5 runs over the first 2 innings. They picked up 11 hits on the day and their pitching staff allowed 11 and just 1 walk, with the bullpen putting in 2.2 innings of scoreless ball, allowing just one of those hits. On the year the St. Louis staff has a 4.48 team ERA which ranked 22nd overall after 73 games. Mikolas is coming off of his roughest start of the season, allowing 6 earned runs and 8 hits over 6 innings against the Mets. So far this month, the right-hander has made 3 starts and posted an 0-3 record with a 6.88 ERA and 1.65 whip. Mikolas is 3-2 with a 4.32 ERA against the Nats, making 6 appearances in his career against them. In dropping Monday night series opener, the Nationals made it 4 straight losses. They had won just twice over their last 15 games entering Tuesday night. Over their 4-game losing streak they had been outscored 23-15. Washington's offense ranked 7th overall through 71 games with a .262 team batting average. Their 54 home runs were 2nd fewest, and their 296 runs scored were 6th fewest. 
Lane Thomas leads the team with 49 runs scored, 16 more than the next player on the roster. The outfielder also leads the team with 11 home runs and his 35 RBIs are tied for Joey Menezes for most on the club. The Cardinals will be looking to keep their momentum going before their upcoming game against the Cubs in London. They will face the Nationals, who have been struggling recently. The Nationals pitching has been particularly poor, as they have allowed at least 5 runs in 8 of their last 13 games. Cardinals starter McCullers is looking for a bounce-back game. He has a 1.36 whip this season, which is higher than his career average of 1.21. However, the Nationals are 0-5 in their last 5 games against a starter with a whip greater than 1.30. The Cardinals' offense is also heating up. They have scored at least 5 runs in 4 of their last 5 games. I expect them to put up some runs against National starter Williams, who has given up 5 home runs in his last 3 starts. Given the Cardinals' recent momentum and the Nationals' struggles, I recommend taking the Cardinals on the money line. The Cardinals and Nationals have combined to score over the total in 3 straight games, and the over has hit in 67% of their head-to-head -head matchups. The Nationals' pitching staff has been one of the worst in baseball, giving up the 6th most runs. The Cardinals are hitting the ball well, averaging 7 runs per game in their 3-game win streak. With two off days and some big travel ahead, I expect the Cardinals to keep hitting, and I recommend taking the over. Atlanta Braves vs Philadelphia Phillies Atlanta has won six straight games, including a series-sweeping 14-6 blowout victory over the Colorado Rockies, 29-45 SU, 5th in NL West, at home Sunday. Outfielder Eddie Rosario went deep twice and drove in six runs and Michael Harris too went five for five and crossed the plate three times in the win for the Braves. Atlanta second baseman Ozzie Ablis also homered and drove in four. Starter Charlie Morton picked up his sixth win of the season by going five innings and allowing three earned runs on five hits and striking out eight batters. Third baseman Ryan McMahon hit two home runs and drove in three for the Rockies in the loss. The Phillies have also won six straight, including a 3-2 series sweeping win over the Oakland A's, 19-55 SU, 5th in AL West, on the road Sunday. Outfielder Kyle Schwarber led off the game with his 20th home run of the season and later drove in a run on a single to help power the Phillies to the win. Starter Zach Wheeler pitched six strong scoreless innings and picked up his sixth win of the season. Reliever Junior Marte pitched a scoreless ninth and struck out all three batters to earn his first save of the season. Pinch hitter Aledmiz Diaz went deep for the A's in the loss. The Phillies have been a strong team against the spread recently, winning seven of their last eight games. Additionally, Aaron Nola has had a lot of success against the Braves at home, compiling a 11-3 record with a 2.89 ERA and 1.06 whip. He has also won three of his last four starts against Atlanta, including a victory in September last season where he pitched six scoreless innings. The Phillies pitching staff has also been strong at home, ranking fifth in the league in Team ERA, 4.39. They have allowed four runs or less in five of their last six games at Citizens Bank Park. Additionally, the Phillies have won six of their last seven games at home and swept the Detroit Tigers in a three-game set the first week of June. Finally, Philadelphia has won four of their last five home games in which Nola started. Based on these statistics, it is likely that the Phillies will win at home against the Braves on Wednesday with Nola on the mound. The Braves and Phillies have a history of high-scoring games, with five of the last six games played between the two teams at Citizens Bank Park going over the run total. Three of the four games played in Atlanta earlier this season also went over the run total, and two of those games produced 13 runs or more. The Braves have an elite offense this season, ranking fourth in the league in runs scored with 5.30. They rank first in the league in both average home runs per game overall and on the road, and they rank first in the majors in slugging percentage away from their home stadium. This means that the Braves will be capable of scoring in bunches quickly when they take on the Phillies on the road. Philadelphia's offense has also been productive this season, producing a top 10 slugging percentage. Both Atlanta and Philadelphia rank in the top 10 in batting average. The Braves have gone over the run total in six of their last seven games overall and four straight on the road. Based on these factors, it is likely that the Braves and Phillies will combine for a lot of runs on Wednesday. I recommend taking the over.